Amen. I always have something because it, the reason I bring these things before you is that you need to know that God has given you a man of God. And, and when I tell you something, you should, you should hear it. I find that most people, very few people, want to be pastored. Most people only want to be preached to. And what I mean by that is this. I am God's man with 99% of you as long as what I'm saying to you, you agree with. When you disagree with it, I'm not God's man. I, I have my opinion, and you have yours. And that's the way it ends. But if the widow of Zarephath would have had the mind that I see displayed in believers today, she would have died in the drought. For the man of God said, feed me first. And she didn't treat him like, you have your opinion, I have mine. She did what he said, and the Lord blessed her. Some of you, you got mad with the preacher. For the politician. But let me tell you something. History was made uh, in this past presidential inauguration. I've, I've already told you Thursday night, it'll be put on the website, that for the first time we had an openly homosexual to read a poem. I guess uh, Maya Angelou was out so much for We Rise. And uh, an open uh, homosexual uh, read the poem. Uh, I think his name was Blanco. Yeah, Richard Blanco, the first Latino and first openly homosexual poet, recites at the presidential inauguration. That was the first. The president talked about homosexual rights. That was the first in the history of this country. No president during his inaugural address endorsed a repulsive, ungodly lifestyle. But our president did. Not only that, but but this wasn't the first time. This was the second time. Do you know? I didn't see the parade, but do you know that there was a um, um, lesbian and gay band? They tell me the armor guard, the, what the color guards, boy, they were just marching. You know, this is color guard, and you can you can imagine how they how they were switching. Um, this is true. This is true. Uh, Washington, in the 1990s, their band was part of a sideline entertainment in the inaugural parades of Bill Clinton. In 2001 and 2005, they had no role when George W. Bush took office. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, all that changed four years ago when the Lesbian and Gay Band Association application to perform was accepted for the first inaugural of Barack Obama, it is a sign of changing times. Band members gathered from around the country in 2009 to march in an official inaugural parade, which has accompanied the swearing in of presidents of the United States. And this year, they marched again in the official inaugural 